What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be working on our, one of Weiss Works' friend scars, Travis. If you write Helen, you probably saw it. It's the one that we made jokes about calling it the Celsius. Because what color is it? Glute Audi Orange. Glute Audi Orange. Um, he's getting ready for next year. We're going to go ahead and do the time and change job on it. Uh, a couple of guys asked about the timing again. So I'm going to do another video, get a little bit more in depth on it. We're also going to do the cam cap, and then that's it for this video. All right. All right, we're going to start with taking the cam bridge out, cam adjuster, and then actually pull it from the cylinder head so we can go ahead and do the cam cap. The cam adjuster is left-hand thread. Not righty tighty. Righty Lucy. And I will put a link of the uh, the tools that's needed. Do you have a spot we put the oily parts? There's that. There is only a few things on this motor that are left hand thread uh, cam adjuster and then the water pump the water pump gear boy or yeah water pump gear boy now Volkswagen did release a couple different uh, revisions on this motor some of them use aluminum bolts. If you have the aluminum bolts, they are one time use only. Travis is lucky he has the steel ones. And when pulling the camber off, this pin does slide. So you're gonna be sure you're not to lose that. That holds the front guide in place. And I'm glad we caught the time and chain job on his. He had the first revision grenade tensioner. When I get, when we get to the point of uh, pulling the tensioner off, I'll show you the new one to the old one. And yours did not come with the new uh, In the first and second gen, you can just lift this gear, I mean this chain off the gear. On a third gen, it's one less tooth. You have to pull everything off and then pull the cog off to get the oil pump chain off. So you got lucky with it being a first gen.
All right, one thing to check when you have all the chains off. All right, guys, sorry, the mic died. So the balance shafts are a big thing you want to check. Um, be sure they both rotate freely. Uh, the front one is notorious for causing oil pressure lights. If you feel any kind of resistance, I would definitely pull them out, check the screens, and be sure that they're good to go. If you see trash in the screens or you feel any kind of grinding movement, it's time to replace them. And a lot of people ask where the actual timing marks are before you get everything apart. The biggest thing is everything is marked. The chains are marked, the gears are marked. The only thing you want to be sure on the crank when you're messing with the cams, you can see the connecting rod on cylinder one. What I normally do is pull it back just off top dead so you know when you put the cam cap back on, it has full clearance of the uh, top of this. Right, if you come close, on the balance shaft, again, you have all three marks lined up for the chain. The chain has a bunch of different teeth on it, um, well, marks. Don't pay attention to these. Do not pay attention to the copper link. You want to pay attention to the three single black ones. And there, the spacing on the links is the same. So it doesn't matter which link you put it on, as long as they're lined up to the timing marks. And then, start off with the top guy. This front guide will have a little slack in it. I've noticed it between all the uh, PSI chains we've done. I don't know why, but you'll have to play like this in this front guide. Like that. All your guide rail bolts get forked down to 20 newton meters. is a 65 newton meters.
Yep, 65 newt meters, which is equivalent to 48 foot pounds. All right, after that, we're on to the main chain. Should we do that last? Yeah, oh. go ahead and pull it off that. All right, to get the upper guide off, first, flip that up. And put a fly head right there at that little lip. We're gonna pull down a little bit. It's gonna crack because it's old. And it pulls it off the lip. Flies right out. That will be the last guide we put in. And then we wanna line everything up. The black tooth or the black link is matching that tooth. So we'll go ahead and put the tool in for that one. Which lines up in the Cambridge spot. What we'll do is we will rotate that camera. Put that one to there. And on this side. Same thing. Now these kits are really well or well made. If you order the one off Amazon or from AST, you will have to grind the back side of this one down. For some reason, it's way too big for the kit. Or it's way too big. But I ground mine down and it works perfectly fine. And then you want to rotate this, keep that tooth on. We can go one tooth over because we still have to put that one in. So both of those are lined up. And then on the bottom, Rotate the crank back just enough to put tension on it. Hold the chain. That nose up a little bit. Slowly pull the tension back. back on the chain just enough. Slide that one in. Timing mark, timing mark, timing mark.
and these go to 20 newton meters also. That one's on the length of the time mark. And so are the ones up top. All right, we're gonna start with get the oil pump tensioner in. Pull the spring. And then what I do after this is just double check everything. We know we're on the timing marks up top. We can still see the link down bottom. We're in time. Pull the pen. Do you want to show them the difference between the old versus updated? Yes. So here's the difference in the two tensioners. These are called the grenade tensioners. This black spring shoots off. And then there's a lock pen to grab the teeth up top. What it does when this shoots off, that piece falls out and this tensioner does this back and forth and it'll cause it to jump. So if you, when you pull that timing cover, if you see one of these, go ahead and replace it with the new revision. And then the last thing, which he's gonna do off camera, is we're gonna go ahead and reseal the motor back up. We need to torque these. He can put the cover on and then this gets tor torqued to the this gets tightened to 100 foot pounds plus a 90 degree turn. All right guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>